and welcome back to Let's Play Fantasy Life. Alright, we're a Master Magician now. Let's go do Master Magician things. For one thing, I actually did drop my party for now just because there's one challenge. I think it's the... Where is it? I think I do have a challenge to basically finish off enemies with my shooting star technique. Yeah, so... Kinda wanted to drop my party members for now just to make that one a bit easier. I will go pick them up again whenever I need to go take on the bosses, but until then we can probably take on things on our own. Shouldn't be too hard. Anyways, before we go though, there are a few things I want to do. For one thing, I do want to do some shopping. Also, I should probably take this Oh wait, no. You're just telling me about blacksmith stuff. Never mind. Here, I'm not really going to be working on blacksmithing, so I'll come pick up that one later. But there, I think there are a couple of hidden quests that we need to grab uh, for getting up to hero rank. We'll go around the world and look for them later. For now, though, I do really need to... Actually, before we restock, I want to check one thing. Can we make life cures on our own, or do we need to buy them still? I should probably work on alchemy at some point. I keep saying that about every life. Oh, wait, that's not the crafting table. That is. Uh, let me see here. What can I make? I can't make life gears. Awesome. I can make two of them right now. Okay. Uh, can I make these in bulk yet? No, I can't. Alright, we'll make it our own then. Fortune of my intelligence is super high, so this shouldn't be too... Okay, yeah, this isn't going to be very hard at all. There we go. But you'll make a few life cures, maybe make as many SP and HP potions as we can. Oh, awesome. Oh, we have eight now. And now we can craft it in bulk. I'm not going to because there's no point, but we could if we wanted to. Also, yeah, I think we need... Okay, never mind. I can't make another one. We only had enough stuff for one. I could make a few high HP potions, though. No high SP ones, though. I'm going to have to make... I'm going to have to buy those. All right, that's fine. Either way, we still have plenty of life cures, so that shouldn't be too big of a problem. I don't really plan on dying eight times in a single battle. Then again, considering I'm pretty sure what we have to start facing to get to hero rank, we might want as many life cures as we can get. Here, you know what? I'm just going to buy the rest of my, uh, mater my medicine. I just need a bunch of SP potions. How many HP potions do I need? And we'll grab a couple of extras, just in case. Also, yeah, we need we do also need to head to Almagik at some point. For one thing, Subterranean Lake and Cacti Cave are in that area. So we need to go there and beat up some enemies. And for another thing, now that we're a master, we can access the uh, wizard shop. Well, magician shop. I keep forgetting that it's called magician sometimes in this game, and sometimes it's called wizard. I don't know why. Alright, let's grab... How much money do I have? We'll grab five more high uh, HP potions. Grab like seven high SP potions. Gonna, be, gonna need a lot of those. And we'll grab like ten more normal SP potions. There we go. That should be more than enough. Oh, let me also rearrange my pouch real quick. Anything else I need to put in there? I suppose I should put my good HP potions in there too. Okay. Yeah, that should do. Anyways, off to Almagik? Nah, that's not Almagik. That's Almagik. Still not really sure why the inside of my house is sand, by the way. Alright, but now that we're a master, hopefully they'll open up the shop for me to actually buy a few things at. It's nighttime, isn't it? It's nighttime. Everyone's closed. Right, school does not open at night. Okay. Okay, yeah, we can't still buy things at night. Let's see, what do we got here? Ooh, magic spray. Ooh, that's not bad. It's expensive, though. We can buy mana... 
Ooh, we could buy ourselves a better one. That's 18,000 Dosh. That is a bit of an increase, too. It also has a cat on the top, which is awesome. Maybe. That extra bit of magic attack would help a lot. Also, these are not a, these are just the basic equipment, I think. Ooh. They do increase my magic defense by quite a bit. And they do increase the uh ability or the uh, power of my attacks, too. That might not be a bad investment. But yeah, basically these are all the very specialized robes you can grab. I don't know why Earth and Wind are more expensive. Actually, are they better? No, they're not better than what I have on right now in terms of defense. Those mittens, though, wouldn't be a terrible investment. That's only two less defense. 20,000 dosh, though. Okay, maybe once I have enough money, I'm going to come back here and do some shopping. Because these would boost my attack by quite a bit, especially the hood. I'm thinking of getting the fire hood. Never mind, it's worse than what I have on right now. I'm thinking of getting the wind hood. Because, yeah, wind is the element I tend to use the most, most often. They're all expensive, though. Actually, wait, Grinning Hat, is that bad? Never mind, the Grinning Hat's just straight up better in terms of defense. Not that much better, though. Yeah, I might still invest in the Wind Hood at some point. Either way, I'm going to need money. I'm going to need a lot of money to buy any of this stuff. Actually, can I sell anything right now? Okay, I can sell all that stuff I found over the archipelago. I don't need those anymore. I'm gonna keep the sugar wand because only wizards can use the uh, mooncrest wand. I can sell the armor I made that I can't equip. Yeah, I kinda need to empty my inventory for a bit. When did I get coral necklaces? Oh wait, that's right, I found them over at the archipelago while I was grinding. Okay, I could sell the wizard trophy, but that's a terrible idea. Let's not do that. Yeah, I might have to just make myself a bunch of furniture to grind up some money. Uh, I can sell my old sugar axe. I don't need that anymore. Or my old iron needle. Or my old sugar saw. Alright, we got ourselves a good amount of cash now. So what do I want to invest in at the moment? What would be good? I have enough to maybe buy two things. I kind of want the gloves first off. Don't want the gloves or the hood. Huh. The hat wouldn't be bad either just because of the extra defense, but... The robes, unfortunately, are just worse than what I have on right now. So those aren't really worth investing in. The hat wouldn't be... T uh, I've only in increased my intelligence, too. This is hard. Once I have enough money, I'll probably just buy them all, but... You know what? How much money do I have? 35? Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab myself the gloves. And I'm gonna grab myself the wind hood. Okay. I'll come back for the rest of the, uh, I'll come back for the shoes and the other things later, and the wand. Probably should have invested in a wand, actually. Wow, that is not worth very much. Actually, I think I'm going to keep the helmet for now, just in case. Okay. I look dumb. Okay, maybe I should have gotten the hat, because this hood looks really dumb. Oh, well. Yeah, I know. Don't worry. I know I have to charge up that attack. Alright, now here's the question. Where do I get my the extra uh, missions I need for Magician? I believe there is one over in the Ancient Ruins. So we should probably head over there right now anyways. I think there are probably also some over in Terra... I keep trying to call it Terra Nimba. Uh, Terra Nimbus. We'll head up there later. Either way, we're also going to be beating up everything we come across along the way, just so that I can charge up my shooting star technique. Actually, wait. It just says enemies, right? I don't have to use it ten times. 
Defeat 10 monsters. Okay. If I can get like a big group of enemies somewhere all gathered together and finish them all off at the same time, that probably would count. What would be the best place to do that though? Probably... Actually, probably over at the East Grassy Plains. I can just grab a bunch of like early enemies and just drop a star on their head. Oh, hi. Oh, God. Nope. Okay, I was planning on just charging that thing and destroying whatever was there. Turns out it was a super boss. Let's be a bit careful around here at night. Okay, it's gone. Yeah, I can spawn anywhere in this area. Uh, unfortunately, the shooting star technique one is going to take a while because it takes a while to charge up. That's fine. I'm just going to be throwing out spells whenever I can. Anyways, so let me see. When you head to the subterranean lake, which I believe is down in the southern area. Uh, what else? You have to find Cacto Cave. I forget where Cacto Cave is. We'll go find it later. I am getting better wind magic, though. Nope, nope. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Ah, I'm okay. Let's not take on the Lord of the Dead right now. We might be a master wizard, but he's a dinosaur. He's a dinosaur who doesn't care about magic. He'll just smack me in the face and kill me like in two hits. I do like his battle theme, though. He has a pretty good battle theme. Yeah, here we go. Subterranean Lake. Alright, so what do we need? Wait. I just realized something. Let's go do this one right now. It's nighttime. We should go there before it turns light. Kind of wish I had party members with me, but whatever. So he's over at the Ancient Ruins. I know how to get there. If this spooky's like any of the other spookies, it shouldn't be too hard. Oh, but we need to get there before day uh, daytime. Spookies only come out at night. I should also make sure I watch my SP. Eh, I have plenty of SP potions. We'll be fine. So the ancient ruins are over in the nope. Are over in the northeast. Oh, I just realized something. We're gonna have to care. Oh, there he is. That was easy. I was gonna say I just realized something. We're gonna have to carry his bounty back to the desk. But the Lord of the Dead is hanging out in the area, so we might want to be careful. Yeah, that was really easy. Here, one second, do I... Can I do anything in the Ancient Ruins right now? I could have sworn they were like... Yeah. Could have sworn they were like... Oh, there he is. Yeah, I was looking for Colin. I think he has an extra quest for us. Oh, no. Okay, I was going to say, you're not going to make us take on Calamitous, are you? I think we just need to take on some shadows. Oh. I think we also have to take out some spirits of light. So, are those two extra requests that we can do now? Okay, take on one spirit of darkness within the cave of shadows. And then take out one spirit of light on Terra Nimbus. Okay. Wow, that's 600 stars. I don't think the Spirit of Light is a boss either. I think it's just a normal enemy. Okay. I'll take care of it, I guess. But yeah, we'll head up to Terra Nimbus later then. Because I think there are also some quests up there we can p probably pick up. Now let's get th this thing to a bounty desk before it gets destroyed. Actually, I might want to wait till morning. Because I believe the Lord of the Dead despawns in the morning. Ooh, another de desert spooky. Well, I'm already here. Right, I forgot. Enemies absolutely hate bounties. I think they're just trying to free their friends. Either that or they legitimately hate the boxes.
There we go. Also, my uh, attack is almost charged up. Alright, so let's go turn both of these in. If one gets destroyed, we still have another one just in case. Also, I did fight the right spooky, right? I think I did. It was a desert spooky. Plus, it'll help me make back a bit of money that I lost on all this equipment. I got demonic powder. I don't know why I would want that, but I got it. Did I get the wrong enemy? I think I got the wrong enemy. Darn it. Thought that was way too easy. Wait, did I get the wrong enemy? I could have sworn I had this as a request. It's a big spooky. Darn it. Okay, fine. Yeah, I got the wrong spooky. And it's daytime. Okay, we'll head back into the ruins later then. And by later, I mean probably tomorrow night once I have some allies with me. Wait, this is not an attacking spell. Also, eat meteors. Alright, nine more enemies to go. Yeah, I think the best thing to do in this case would be just to... Uh, what is it? Just to try to gather as many enemies as I can in, like, the East Grassy Plains where I can one-shot all of them. And just cast it, like, in a big group of them to try to take out as many as I can. That'll probably take less tries. And I have to charge it up less times. Oh well. Anyways, let's head over to the subterranean cave finally. So I'm looking for toxic jellies. And... Still need to beat up that forest wraith, by the way. Uh, what else do I have to... And Lovely Jelly. No, wait, that's Cacto Cave. And Metal Jellies? No, that's Ancient Ruins. Crimson Frogs. Okay. Yeah, I just need to go to the Ancient Ruins later. Probably tomorrow night. Alright, so Frogs and Jellies. Got it. Shouldn't be too hard. Have we been in here before? I think we have been in here before. Hi, Mr. Toxic Jelly. Bye, Mr. Toxic Jelly. I need to take out four more of you. Fortunately, for some reason, they just cannot go on bridges. Wait, no, never mind. Here they come. They were just stuck on a corner. Also, do I have a antidote on me? I think I still have some antidotes on me. Wait, do I? Oh, here we go. Poison antidotes. I actually don't have that many on me. Then again, I haven't really had to use them that much, so I guess that makes sense. Alright, so three more toxic jellies and then some frogs and we can get out of here. Here, I'm gonna heal. Oh, uh, wait. I can't heal on stairs for some reason. That's, that should do. Oh, here we go. Oh, wait. I keep trying to attack with healing magic. That's not how it works. Alright, so I need to take out three more. No, two more. No, three more. I want to take out, like, uh, two of them there. Still need to find more toxic jellies, too. Here we go. Alright, how many more toxic jellies do I need to take out? I'll find them later. Ooh, frogs. Ooh, sharks. I don't want to take out the sharks right away. Well, guess I don't have a choice of the matter anymore. Might have been overkill there. Uh, is that enough frogs? I think no, I need one more. These are the right frogs, by the way, right? Crimson frogs. I'm kind of paranoid that. I'm okay, yeah, they're the right frogs. Okay, I think I only need like one more jelly then, and then we can get out of here.
I am almost ready with my super spell, too. Okay, it's ready now. Uh, was that the last jelly? No, I need- Oh, no, yeah, that was the last jelly. Okay, am I done here? I think I'm done here. Desert jelly, frogs... No, apparently I still need one more. Wait, no, what? Didn't I just do that one? Okay, now it's marked complete. Okay, that was weird. Anyways, I'm actually gonna go home real quick. I should probably also do a bliss check at some point, but we'll do that later. I want to just go see if I can gather up, like, a giant group of enemies and then just nuke them all down at once. Also, what do we got here? Butter from Bard. Oh, okay. I think we can just go repeat the song whenever we want. Probably not gonna be doing that. Also, that's just saying that the uh, Master Shop is unlocked for you to use. I do want to buy that new wand at some point, but probably not right away. Anyways, shall we go see if we can nuke, like, half the planes in one go? I only need to take out nine more enemies with my, uh, super meteor spell. That being said, the one thing about meteor is that it is light elemental. So, unfortunately, if we're going to be facing any light enemies in the future. They're not going to really be hurt by it that much. Can I... No, unfortunately, the Woolies won't get angry at me and chase me. They kind of just run away from me instead. So they're not very good for gathering. I need to find things that don't like me. Maybe I should come back at night. There has to be really hostile enemies around here somewhere who will follow me to the ends of the earth. How about you guys? Fight me. Fight me. Fine. Okay, maybe we should go to the West Grassy Plains. Nothing on the East Grassy Plains hates me enough. They just keep leaving me alone. Where's the fun in that? No? Am I just too strong that they don't want to attack me anymore? Okay, here we go. Uh, I need, like, normal enemies, though. Bulls are cool, but... Yeah, unfortunately, they're kind of slow because they keep trying to charge me instead of just following me. How about you, snakes? Oh, good, the snakes will follow me. Alright, so how many can we get... How many can we gather? They're not very fast, but they will follow me. Oh, here we go. This will work. Alright, can we get all four of these together? No, the first one lost interest. Okay, they won't follow me that far, unfortunately. Alright, in that case, let's just gather these three together. Where'd the other one go? Yeah, wow, they have almost no attention span. Alright, get a bit closer together, guys. There we go. Hopefully I can take out all three of them. There we go. Alright, that's four down. Okay, yeah, unfortunately I couldn't just gather them all into one giant group and nuke them with one uh, spell. And finish it off immediately. Oh well. Maybe I find a bigger group, I'll try that again. Alright, so I guess next step would be... Where do we want to go? Here, let's stop by Terra Nimbus for a bit. I want to see if I can pick up any extra challenges up there too. I wish we could buy a house up there in the base game. I think you can in the DLC, people have been mentioning. Unfortunately, I don't have the DLC on this 3DS. And I don't really plan on buying it. Also, do you have a challenge for me? Yes. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I think we do have to go up to Terra Nimbus to get that last quest then. Because I think in our menu there's still one missing. Actually, there are two missing. Actually, no, I think this last one is probably a hero quest. Judging by the fact that it's worth 2,000 stars. That's probably the final boss of the original game. That would be a good way to end the LP, though. Once we can take that thing out, there is nothing left for us to do as a wizard. At least without the DLC.
Anyways, take me up to Terra Nimbus, please. Also, while I'm up there, I should probably look for a Spirit of Light. I don't even know where they spawn. But we'll keep an eye out for one. Because I only need to take out one and... I don't know, Spirit of Light just sounds like something that wouldn't really be like a boss. Because we've seen all the other spirits. They're not bosses. They're just normal enemies that are hanging out everywhere. And yeah, while I'm up here, I might do a bit of grinding too. But first off, we're heading to the Plushling Village. I do want to see, uh... If there's another quest for me up there. Actually, it doesn't tell me where the Spirits of Light hang out, does it? It just says Terra Nimbus, right? Yeah, it just says Terra Nimbus. Okay, I'll probably have to look it up then. Or just explore the entire island. I'm not even sure if they come out during the day. Because I don't think I've ever actually seen a Spirit of Light up here. Or maybe they hang out in the forest, like near where uh, we got the float stone. Any quests for me up here? Oh, yeah, there is one. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Something tells me that should be the last thing we do as a, uh, Master Wizard. Lightning Raid sounds terrifying. Yeah, I think we'll hold off on doing that one. But, with that, I think we'll end the episode here. So, next time on Let's Play Fancy Life, we're gonna continue leveling up our wizard career. And career, I mean life. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there are only two ranks left. There's Hero and there's Legend. And I think to get to Legend rank, we have to do this very, very last 2,000 star request. Okay, it's not showing up here, but... Yeah, that last 2,000 star request is probably required for uh, Legend rank. But we'll see. So, till next time.